Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Java 2D game development tutorial series. What we're going to do today is we're going to try to make uh, this game loop into something a bit more uh, fleshed out. You know, because like right here we put comments in in place of where we're actually going to put code. We're going to start turning those into the method stubs that we're actually going to be using um, whenever we use our, uh, whenever we start developing our game further. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is this update game thing right here. Okay, what we're going to do for updating the game is we're going to need to have a world class that is basically everything that happens in the world of our game. And so we're going to go up to new package and we're going to create a new package and we're going to call it org.world. And inside of that package we're going to create a new class. We're going to call that world. And this is the world class that is going to handle all of the in-game objects and things like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create two new methods. Public static void uh, update and a public static void render. And these, what they're going to do is and when we add objects to the world, the world class is going to handle telling each of those objects to update, and then it's going to handle telling each of those objects to render themselves. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, in the game loop, in pl uh, where we have update game, we're going to say world.update, like that. And that's how we're going to update the, update the game uh, at its most basic level. As for rendering, we have renderer.render. We, we use that because the renderer class uh, needs to tell needs to check to see if we have a window and if we do have a window then go ahead and tell it to display which causes the event listeners display method to run which is how we get access to um, a frame of OpenGL rendering in our window and so what we're gonna do here first off we're gonna get rid of this uh, this code right here the graphics dot draw image and the x plus equals 0 0.01 f that was from previous uh, code going to get rid of that and we're going to get rid of this public static float x thing. And what we're going to do is in the display after we clear the screen, important that we do it after we clear the screen and not before or else we'll end up with nothing drawn to the screen. We're going to need to say uh we're going to say world.render. And so that's going to render the world. And we can test this out by going into the world and drawing something. We go into the world class and put something, put some test code in the render method here. Graphics.fillRect0011. This should draw a square in the center of the screen if our game loop is running properly and is uh, calling the render method of our world class. So we're going to run that. And yep, we get this in the middle of the screen. That means that our game loop is running our uh, rendering code here. And how do we test update? Well, let's just put a quick uh, system dot out dot print line update. Uh, also, we're, we want to get rid of this thing that's being printed out right now. If I remember right, that was left over from our mouse input. So if we go into our mouse input class right here, where we said mouse moved uh, system dot out dot print line, we were debugging the mouse movement. Go ahead and get rid of that because it's not necessary. And if we run the code now, uh, we should get update printed out to the console over and over in addition to this square being drawn. And we do. That means our update method is being called and the game loop is uh, rendering uh, the world after we've updated the, uh, after we've called update, is calling render. Uh, so for the moment, we can go ahead and get rid of those. And I guess we'll, one more thing that we should do uh, to get this working the way we want it to, we can go ahead and add the whole uh, timekeeping uh, as far as getting deltas uh, for updates. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to say uh, in the world class, let's say, actually, really, we shouldn't be doing this in the world class, but in the game loop class. So in game loop, what we're going to do is, well, actually, I take that back. 
because the the way we're going to be designing our game loop in the future is going to be a bit more sophisticated. It's going to use uh, fixed time steps, where whereby the uh, update method is called at a fixed rate, such that, for example, if we call it every six every sixtieth of a second, if we uh, if something causes the game to lag behind by two sixtieths of a second, then it will update the game twice before rendering again. And so it's consuming. Um, the best way I've heard it put was where someone said that it consumes uh, the accumulated time in discreetly sized chunks. Uh, so if you don't understand what that means, that's okay. We'll work on that in the next episode. For now, I just wanted to... I know this is... Just, I didn't do much in this episode, but really I just wanted to get this up and running uh, where we're actually calling real methods here so that we can... Uh, we have more to work on in the in the whole game loop thing. There's, the reason why I don't want to do more right now is because anything that we do from here is going to be a little bit too extensive. I'm going to want to give it its own you know video, its own subject. Uh, so suffice it to say that this episode uh, serves to teach that we're going to be using a world class to handle things. Every game object uh, is going to be handled using uh, whoops is going to be handled from this world class and. Things like GUI and things like that are going to be drawn on top and are not necessarily a part of the world class. So we'll get to how we're going to do that sort of thing later on. So uh, thanks for watching this episode. I wish I had more time to record today, but I just barely got this video done. Um, and I uh, appreciate everyone uh, following these videos. And uh, if you like these videos, subscribe. I'm putting out new episodes every Monday through Friday. Um, and so until the next time, uh, I will see you, and good luck with your game development.